Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. I'm Allison. And we are on our way to Rhode Island, but we're already going in the wrong direction. We probably should be going this way. It all leads to the same town. All right, good. All right, come on. I can, I'll go this way. No, no, whatever. No. Okay. We're, <laughs> we're not even out of the driveway yet. Okay, you're going to the other one. All right, never mind. We're all good. This is my little 10-minute window to the rest of the world today. I'm joined by Allison. And we are on our way to Rhode Island for a vampire road trip. That's right. We're going to be talking about we're going fantasy and reality. Bum, bum, bum. We're going to tackle a little bit of reality first with a famous story of New England lore. You know what? I'm going to continue this one. We are not driving on the moon anymore. <laughs> okay, we're, we're on a bit of a smoother road right now. Like I said, we're on our way to Rhode Island to have our vampire road trip. We have to stop and get some caffeine and motivation. Gasolina. And gasoline. Too, that might be. We have made this trip many, many years ago. I can't remember exactly what year it was, but I do remember it was also then November. It was seasonably warm then. Now it's kind of seasonably bright. But we are still on our way to Exeter, Rhode Island. And uh, we'll fill you in a little bit more after we get some caffeine. <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna to jump on the highway here. We just got our, our Dunkin' Donuts. We're going to go to the TV station first, and then we'll be on our way to Rhode Island. Vampire Adventure! While well, I mouth it down a little bit. Tell the viewers what we're going to be seeing. We're going to Mercy Brown's grave in Exeter, and then we're going to go see filming locations of the original Dark Shadows TV show. We're just getting out of the TV station. We're getting stuff. She's doing a plan of attack. We have gotten extremely high tech from the last time we've done this. We've got a side mount camera mini cam shooting on mini D, and she is currently map questing something from the internet. Wow. <laughs> like a lightning in a bubble. We've come this far, yet we're still doing the same crap. I'm genuinely creeped out here. Her phone's talking to us through the radio. <laughs> That's the Mini Cooper for you. So, we have our phone navigation system, our internet system, our Mini DV cam. If we can get the hell out of this little parking lot, we'll be good. On our way to Exeter, Rhode Island, to see the grave of Mercy Brown, the last medically exhumed New England vampire. 1892. It seems the only thing this technology is adding to our trip is another person to screw up getting where we're going. Roundabout ways. Yeah. TV station's right there. We just went through the city a little bit, but you know, it's okay. Good tour. Sorry. Yeah, we saw Cappy's liquor store and, a, and an excellent yield sign. Something it was great. Never changed. It was great. Three miles on Water Street. We know where we're going. Okay. It is uh, almost 11.40. It's 0.3 miles. Take the ramp on the right onto Route 2 East. It is almost 11.40 and we're getting ready to jump on the highway. We'll still have some daylight when we're at in Exeter. So. Yes. Whoa, this is like a roller coaster. Wee. Mini Cooper roller coaster. Corner of the tight in a Cooper. Punch it, Chewy. Punch it, Leo. I mean, it makes sense. He's supposed to answer. I don't, I don't talk. <laughs> Okay, we are officially now on the highway, on, the on our way, out of Massachusetts into Rhode Island, eventually. Four, six miles, oh, take yeah. exit 33 on the right on Interstate 190 South. She's talking over I know, me. here we go. Take you. you. Go. I had to wiki all the Dark Shadow stuff because while I'm a huge fan of the 91 Revival series, which a lot of people don't like, um, I've never actually watched the entire original series. Take exit so, 33 on the right on Interstate 190 South. My knowledge of all the storylines is very spotty. How different are they though? 
it's crazy. It's crazy different. Aren't they? But they're same characters, right? Same characters, but was it updated for the times? There's a big resurgence of vampire TV Buffy, back then. Kindred, Dark Shadows, and, uh, yeah, Dracula they, the series. I forgot about that entirely. Such a great show. But I remember Forever Night. How yes. can anybody forget Forever Night? I can't. Best TV show ever made. I went to, every time I go to your house where you play some see his autograph. Yep. I gotta agree, that was pretty cool. Even when the guy was like a vampire DJ speaking to the dead in the night. Comes to mind the episode where the guy had to go out in the daylight and he said he was photophobic and he's all wrapped up and he had sunglasses yes. all over him and stuff. And those were the days before story arcs. So you had your episode, your neck of the week type per character. Buffy was probably one of the first shows that started the whole story arc phenomenon. Mm. And so Forever Night, if it was just a few years later, could have taken off as one of the established vampire shows of the time. I think it is. And it kind of fell victim to X-Files. Vampire. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> so Ben Cross um, from the 1991 revival series, very sexy. Favorite character from the old series. In the movie, the Burton movie, Johnny Depp is playing Sinclair. Or the, no, Barnabas. Barnabas, that's right. Sinclair? I, I know Dark Shadows, but I'm not. This is the Star Trek thing we drew all over again, but this is the vampire version. That's why we have Wiki. No, let's talk about the classic. How much do you know about the original? Uh, Barnabas Collins was a vampire. No. It started out as a regular soap opera. Dan Curtis had a dream that a woman was on a train trying to find her destiny or figure out her life. Okay. And apparently back in the 60s, you could just say, hey, I had this dream. Wouldn't it make a great TV show? And then somebody else would say, oh my god, you're so right. And then you had a TV show. Another fellow whose name I don't remember offhand created the Bible and kind of developed it into the show that it became. And it was the longest running sci-fi show. It beats out Doctor Who and it beats out Star Trek for number of episodes aired. Really? Yes. I think who's got a lot. Because it was a serial. You know, it was a soap opera. So the amount of episodes uh, that aired beats out a standard format for a sci-fi show. I day. never looked at it that way. That would make sense. At first there were no supernatural creatures and it was kind of boring from what I understand. <laughs> and then they kind of worked in the storyline. <laughs> Where Barnabas' crypt gets opened up by Willie Loomis and he gets awakened. And then um, shenanigans ensue. Oh, oh we're, a we're a tornado. We're a tornado. Because we're tearing through the town. Oh, that's so bad. Cute. <laughs> I don't know if there's much to say about it. Currently, Dark Shadows has gone through four major revisions. You have your original show, your 90s revival, a pilot that never aired that was going to make Dark Shadows into more of a 90210 type vibe with everybody being younger and hipper and probably sexier. Young vampires never works. Right. Um, you can see the pilot at certain conventions. Dan Curtis does give permission for it to be shown. And then we're on to the Johnny Depp movie directed by Tim Burton. Yes, sounds interesting. We'll do it justice. Dark Shadows revival only lasted for one season only so. because of Gulf War was going on, and so it kept getting preempted and preempted, and it kind of lost steam. People got uninterested, much like Moonlight, which lasted for one season. Moonlight. Moonlight. And it's a vampire detective TV show because apparently vampires and detection hand in hand. The main difference with Moonlight and everything else was Mick St. John, who is your main vampire. He and all of his other vampires can go out in the daytime. They can't spend excessive amounts out in the daytime, but they can hang out. Yeah. And it was nice though, because it, it was a... You can watch Moonlight and get an entire story arc in the series oh, from beginning good. to end. So it's like watching a mini movie. It would have been nice if it got into season two. There you go, see? I did not know that. Yes. So we have Allison here. She's my go-to vampire person. <laughs> Any other vampire shows that I may have gone under my radar? Blood Ties was a Canadian series that lasted for two seasons based on the Tanya Huff blood books. And wait for it, Vampire Detective. Bum bum bum.